Okay, <clears throat> so now that I'm not reading comments again, I'm going to go back to just talking and not have to worry about what people think, uh, whether or not they get it or not. And this one, and I've heard this thing called clickbait, which I think is making the title catchy so people click on the YouTube video. And this may be actually cl clickbait, although it's true. I think clickbait may not be true. But anyway, whatever. Because I'm going to title this I Will Never Forgive Myself or Anyone Else. Yeah, isn't that catchy? And I've done a lot of videos on trying to explain to people how this works in that you create your own universe and moment to moment is your creation and you are although you move from each uh moment to moment and you're with a different creative or collective consciousness in that moment that movement from one to the other to the other is with a different collective consciousness each and every time now there is a range frequently where collective consciousness will move together uh, sometimes, especially on things like uh, everybody here agree, uh, uh, agrees that gravity works, that um, for now, at least during for the last hundreds of years, that you can't, a human cannot cut off a limb and regrow it like a salamander does. You know, that kind of thing where there's an agreement on belief systems. But still... Each time you move, you move uh, on your own, based on your own creative process. Part of that creative process is based on what you decided to do before you came into this creation. Some are based on your higher self, your higher, higher self, uh, uh, a group of as I say, pub friends, a uh, uh, there's all different kinds of groups that you come in and out and react with and such and so forth. And then you will change moment to moment based on whatever's going on at this particular time and place. But ultimately, when you look at it from the big, big, big picture, there's nothing to forgive. And I've never liked that word forgive, that that word forgive always felt wrong to me, that in dealing with all of the self-help books and and uh, all of the psychologists and the psychiatrists that I talked to through the course of my years in the medical field, that everybody kept coming back to this word forgive. But forgiveness to me entails uh, two things. It entails saying that somebody's right and something or somebody or something is right and some other person or some other thing is wrong, number one. And number two, saying that uh, that it's okay that you understand them in that time and place and that none of that ever felt right to me, never felt okay to me. And it still doesn't. Only now I understand why it doesn't feel okay. In that, number one, uh, there is no good and bad. There's only good. Everything is exactly the way it was meant to be. Uh, whether you understand it or not, whether or not you are creating consciously or unconsciously, and whether or not you will continue to play this whole experience consciously or unconsciously or parts in and out that it doesn't matter that everything is exactly perfect and that is so hard for a lot of people to understand it really really is hard for them to understand and it's easier for me to say that because I have had really really bad things happen to me by outside forces even from the point where I was really 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 small according to society's rules and regulations, then I am totally, uh, have had nothing to do with that. That the 
victimization that happened to me whenever I was quite young or even many of the victimizations that happened to me throughout all of the decades that I've been alive had nothing to do with me that it was beyond my control that there that somebody else did that to me and uh, that never felt right to me either and of course way back then before I died I didn't understand why it just didn't feel right to me but it just didn't feel right to me of course after I died and came back now all of it makes sense but even as I was sorting it out and making peace with it all um, it it took me some time and I've still gotten inundated especially with the uh, new agers with this forgiveness thing that, that everything's about forgiveness all you have to do is forgive well I don't either and I'm not going to I'm not going to forgive myself and I'm not going to forgive anybody else because I just I don't believe in it I think that it sets you up to a place that the second you say that you are forgiving yourself or somebody else then immediately that sets you on a higher plane than they are well I forgive you you know it's almost like this benevolent I forgive you and that uh, is not cool it's not cool in my book because everybody is on the same level nobody's better than anybody else nobody's more uh, highly awakened than anyone else you may be playing a role that you're less uh, awakened or enlightened in this moment or time but ultimately we all are one and we are all are all creator gods playing a game so it does not make me better than you because I played the game where I died and came back remembering everything that doesn't make me better than you it doesn't make me better than anybody it doesn't make me better than anybody who's a, a, a serial killer you know it just doesn't. It's just the game that I decided to play. That's it. There's no reason to forgive myself for any of the things that I have done or felt about myself either. Because again, that makes, that implies that, that before I forgave myself, before I dealt with it, that I was somehow less than. I wasn't as good as. I wasn't as, as, as. And I am as, as, as. I am just as much as as I was before I died, before I became aware of the fact that I was doing this or that. Right? And that's how I feel about it. So there is nothing to forgive anyone else for. And I'm not going to do it. Now, I'm not going to tell anybody else what they should or should not be doing in their game. So if Forgiving others and forgiving yourself um, is what is right for you, and that feels right for you, then by all means, forgive away. But for me, I'm not going to forgive myself. I'm not going to think about it anymore. I've really worked at this for uh, uh, 20 years before I died, and almost 10 years since I've died now, uh, this whole wrestling with this whole word forgiveness. And over the last couple days, when I finally got back to having some time to, to really do some contemplation and some meditation on my own thoughts, on my own where I am, where I stand, how I've responded to people over the last three months. And I started doing that, well, you should have been able to do this, or you should be able to raise above them, or you shouldn't have. No, I'm not going to do that. You know what it did is it told me, where I am. Like I've said, I peek my my nose out into uh, watching the media just to see where I am timeline wise and interacting with people uh, when people get under my skin and I react strongly. You know what that says to me? That says that I still cared about whether or not some, whether or not my nursing license had been pulled out from under me right or wrong if I did it or if I didn't that's not the point the point is that to me it showed me that I still cared that her just bringing it up set me into a tizzy and why 
Why should I care? Why should I care what any of you people think in the first place? In the second place, like some have said, why am I explaining this to anybody? Why should I care? The fact that I do care means that I'm not quite where I want to be. And that's all that means. That's all it means. And I'll, I will fix it. Because it doesn't matter. I can, I can tell you the story because it's an interesting story. You can believe it or not believe it. But ultimately, you're going to believe what you're going to believe. No matter what I have to say about the matter. But what is interesting to me is the response that I had in regards to it. Right? And what's interesting to me was after I stepped back from a little bit and turned around and looked at it objectively, like I tell you guys to do, that there was information to be had. There was a, a looking at what I had created and why and how. And that had everything to do with me, start to finish, had nothing to do with any of you. Everything had to do with me. I've created it all. And I really do believe that. And it's like that information that I put out about Trump, and I explained the Trump thing. And <laughs> it's like, uh, if, if I was other people, I would be watching to see who, you know, now looking back at it objectively, I'd be looking at what I had to say and how you responded to it. That's what I would have to say. Because when it comes to Trump, I was quite clear with you guys. I told you very clearly that I had a long history, a belief system, some knowledge base on Hillary. That I was very, very clear with myself that I was going to be unable to get around. It was my belief system. And I had little to no knowledge about Trump. So it was very easy for me to look at those belief systems and say, based on this fact, it is easy for me to build a, a new, um, well-done, care-based, peace-on-the-planet um, political system around my belief systems around Trump but absolutely, there was no way of me doing it around Hillary. Now, it is not that it is impossible for me to have sat stubbornly and got into a meditative state and gone to a belief system and changed my mind about Hillary to the point where I believe that she could build a peaceful planet from the United States' viewpoint based on her being the president. Yeah, I probably could have. But why? Why bother? <laughs> why? I already knew that it was a quicker, easier way of doing it by just going with the Trump belief system that I already had in place. Do I? Did I ask anybody else what they thought? Which way they voted? No. Why? Because it has nothing to do with me. You guys do whatever you want to. Believe whatever you want to. Build whatever you want to. Like I said, I am not with the same ones of you moment to moment. From the start of this sentence to the end, I will have changed to probably a hundred different aspects of you that I'm talking to. So it's just totally irrelevant to me what you believe or where you're going or who you voted for. Because I'm creating my universe, my story. It has nothing to do with you, you, your beliefs have nothing to do with mine. I'm not going to interfere with yours. Vote for who you want to. Uh, if you don't like Trump, then uh, visualize impeaching him and getting Hillary in or whatever. Whatever. I'm just telling you where mine went and why. And how this was applicable in my creationary process. So, whenever you're dealing with your, your creations... Could I go into a meditative state and envision myself being raised by a different family, a loving family, a completely non-destructive family? Well, certainly. But it would take an incredible amount of time and energy, and why? Why? Do I know that there are timelines where I, that there is an aspect of me that is? Sure. 
But I've got this one, and this one is pretty well embedded in me. So I'm not going to mess with the ones that, given the time frame that I've got, in the amount of, of where I'm going, uh, like I used to tell people when they're dealing with their kids, pick your fights. Well, I'm going to pick the fights. I'm not going to, I could also meditate into being a male, into being a, um, a, a, a Chinese male, being born wherever, and relocate myself. Absolutely. I can go back in time, forward in time. But because of the belief systems that I've been raised with, rather than disregard them, I have chosen, and that's just me, guys, me, 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 me. I have chosen that I am not going to change a bunch of stuff about me. Okay? I absolutely believe that I could slow down the aging process, even though I know that I can, that, that the truth is, I can stop it in its tracks. The truth is that I can look younger and younger and younger until I look 25 forever. I know that. But because the belief systems that I've been raised with are so entrenched, and it doesn't matter to me whether I look older or not, then I'm not going to mess with taking any time or energy to mess with that one. Same thing is true with arguing over whether Trump is good or Hillary's the best president. Not going to do it. Same thing is true with changing my sex, my nationality, uh, even my eye color and my hair color. Why? I can get contacts. I can dye my hair. It takes little to no time at all. I've got X amount of time and energy involved in right now, and I am going to use that time and energy to go to 5D. Using a lot of the belief systems that I've been raised with. Because it's just easier. If you don't want to do it that way, then don't do it that way. But as I look through my day-to-day, moment-to-moment, as I um, crack a rib or break a toe, then I'm going to spend my time, rather than worrying about uh, whether or not Trump or Hillary is the best way for me to move forward in my belief systems on peace on the planet towards 5D, or if it behooves me to find out why I cracked that rib and broke that toe. But that's my choice. If it's your gig to spend your time and energy um, worrying about North Korea and Trump and Hillary and the 1% or whatever it is you want to spend your time and energy on, as I have said over and over and over and over and over again, just go for it. Do it. You get to play this game however you want to. And I am not, as I said in this video, I am not going to forgive you or anybody else. I'm not going to forgive myself at this point. There's nothing to forgive. There's nothing to forgive. Everybody's game is dead on perfect. Whether it feels like it or not, right now, it is dead on perfect. And your game does not interfere with anybody else's, and you can't interfere with anybody else's. Can't do it. You can go to timelines where they agree, or they agree to look like you guys are fighting, but you can't interfere with anybody else's, and nobody can interfere with mine. So what I am doing is I'm not going to waste any more time searching out or figuring out this whole forgiveness game that I personally, and this is my opinion, I think personally this is a way of sidetracking people. I think it's a way for, of sidetracking people. Because I don't think that you can forgive yourself or others and consider everybody equal, everything perfect, and and we all be one. I mean, to me, the word forgiveness will not allow that to happen. Now, as in most English words or human words, since somebody brought up, I think there were 400 synonyms to the word judgment, 
which is <laughs> the thing that makes it so tricky to talk to people because my um my definition of judgment or at least my idea of judgment or forgiveness is mine and mine alone based on my history or what I mean in this sentence if you can't communicate with me telepathically then you've got to translate it through your definition of what judgment or forgiveness means to you which is probably um, not the same at all especially if there are 400 different words and I think there's uh, three quarters of a million English words and just with one of them, there are 400 words that mean the same thing as judgment. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's the reason why people have such a hard time communicating. And that's, I think, the biggest reason why I really, really struggled whether or not to do these videos. Because I knew, I knew that there was going to be misunderstanding in the words that I used. Anyway, there was just a great big crash out there, so I'm going to go find out what it is. Huge hugs to you. Uh, yeah. And I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.